Alright, hi YouTube. Um, so I'm only doing this review, and I've never really done this before, but like I said, I'm only doing it because when I bought this phone, there was only like Chinese and Russian reviews, so I couldn't understand what they were saying. Granted, most of those reviews you didn't really need to, because it was just testing how durable this phone is, um, but I still wanted to just throw out an American review, since I'm not trying to destroy it, I'm just really rough on technology in general, and I got this to be durable. So... This is a Discovery Land Rover phone, as you can see. I don't know if they're using if they're using Land Rover, like if it's actual actually the car company. This could just be a they could have just stole the logo. I don't know. I bought it from this website called AliExpress. It's um, a Chinese website, so if you have a lot of questions for them, it, they don't speak very good English, and that'll show when the sellers respond to you. But they've got really good prices. They mostly, I think, are made to sell to stores for people wanting to sell these devices and other things similar, but they'll sell you just one. doesn't change the price too much. So I got this phone because pre previously I had an iPhone 3G. It was an old one. You know, I just wanted it so I could have my music in my phone. And um, I kept breaking it. And I've broken every phone previously because I'm really, really rough on things without meaning to be. I'll drop them. They'll fall in the water. Um, one of my phones actually fell off the back of the motorcycle once. It was really bad. Um, so I wanted a really durable phone. This is a military-grade Android smartphone. Like I said, it's called a Discovery Land Rover. It is an IP level of 67. It's water submersible, shockproof, dustproof. It's got Gorilla Glass. It's got a reinforced case so that even though it's Gorilla Glass, you know, it can still break really easy if the case isn't reinforced. This is a reinforced case, so that's really good. It's running whatever the latest version of Android is. It'll say something else on the website. It's, I don't know, it comes with the latest version. I think they just haven't updated the website in a while. Um, I really like it. It runs smooth. Like I said, I was used to iPhone before this and just regular dial pad phones before that. I, I'm not really a smartphone user. I just wanted something that, that I could keep my calendar and everything on. Um, the, when you first get it, it's going to take about a month to get here no matter which shipping you choose. That's just how China works. If you are in America, do not let them choose DHL. We started out with that and DHL sent it back because wherever they first wanted to drop off the phone in America, there wasn't a DHL office, so they just sent it back to China and then they had to resend it. But um so be sure that they know that you live in America and that you're gonna be you're gonna need to use something that's not DHL because it will get sent back to China. But no matter what you choose, it will take about a month to get here. I don't know why Chinese business days are different, I guess. Um once you get it here it will come in Chinese. Everything will be in Chinese. I had no idea how to how to get the language setting on top of never working Android before. I had no idea, you know, which one to choose. I originally tried to grab, and let me see if I can turn the brightness up on this so I can show you the icon better, but the icon that I thought was settings is not settings. It's It's got it's got a little little gears on it. I thought that was settings. I, I was so wrong. But that is what you think will be, and I think you can see it. That, see that one in the top? Little white icon says auto clear. It's got two gears on it. That is not settings. Um, let me try and keep the glare off. This icon right here, weird little black box with blue sliders, that is settings. And um, that's where you're going to find your language settings. Again, you just click on that. You go down, and it's really obvious. It's got a little A next to it. Just choose that and choose English. That's fine. I, I didn't know that. It took me like three hours to figure that one out. Once I got it in English, it was fine. Um, it runs Android really smooth. runs any app that I put on it really smooth. My boyfriend even tried a couple of like high-intensity pixel whatever games. They ran just fine. Um, it's... I don't know. I, I mean, it's a good phone. I don't really do anything crazy with it. I've got a calendar and my music and stuff on it. That's about it. So I highly recommend this phone to anyone who's rough on phones, works construction, needs a really durable phone that's going to 
going to be able to, to put up with whatever they put it through. The first two weeks that I got it, I hung it in the shower and, and played music while I was in the shower. It got soaking wet every day for two weeks straight. It did just fine. Um, I've dropped it on concrete quite a few times. One of them, I was spinning it like this, which probably isn't the best thing to do with your phone. Right at the apex of the swing, it flew off, hit the sidewalk on a wheelchair ramp, like skidded like three feet, flipped, bounced, landed on its face. Obviously, the screen is not cracked. It's, it's perfect. I've dropped it many times since then. It's really, really good. My only qualm with it is that the headphone jack right there is just a bit off center so you can't really get headphones in it really well I mean they fit in alright if you have like skull candies or something that have the really thin not the corner one um, and the the connectors inside that jack are just a little bit off so they don't make a good connection you'll get a clicking sound when you listen to music that's kind of important to me because I listen to a lot of a lot of music it does come with headphones that, that have a slightly different jack on it on the, on the end of the headphones um, they fall apart within the first week and they don't sound that good to begin with so if you listen to a lot of music this is not the phone for you unless you're okay with carrying around an iPod shuffle or something and you just want a really durable phone um, so I wouldn't recommend this to anyone who listens to a lot of music but this is a really great phone if you don't and you just need a, a phone that's not gonna break on you the screens not gonna shatter it comes in four different colors. This is obviously the blue one. It also comes in army green, black, yellow, and orange. Um, like I said, it's a Discovery Land Rover version 5, so V.5. It also goes by the name of AMG Rock. Um, it was only about $100 after, and that's with shipping. Like I said, it takes about a month to get in. But for $100, you get a waterproof smartphone that runs Android, runs all your games. Um, you can't really kill it. Um, I'm going to link some videos in the, the description, um, Those the ones that I watched before I bought this. One of them is of some Russians doing a whole bunch of really crazy shenanigans to the AMG Rock. You'll notice if you ever look at one next to the Discovery V5, they're like sisters. So it's kind of, I, I think they're just released to different countries, I'm not sure but they look slightly different depending on, on where you get it. But they're the same phone. You can do a Google search for Discovery V5. The AMG Rock will show up. You can do a search for AMG Rock and the Discovery V5 will show up. They're the same phone. They just have a slightly different look to them. Um, but like I said, I'll link you to the Russian video that I found where they're just absolutely trying to destroy this phone. It does fine. It's great. They put it through all the tests. But way better than any that I could do. Um, I'll also link you to another one where a guy is unboxing it and he gets it in the box just like I did. My box is currently packed because we're getting ready to move, so I can't show you that. But he'll show you everything that it comes with. Um, he just doesn't talk, and like I said, the Russians don't speak English, so I didn't really, I don't know. But really good phone. If you're in America, I don't, you can't just like walk up to AT&T or Verizon or whatever and order these because they don't really sell them in America because they come unlocked. So long as you have a SIM card, you can use it on any carrier. Um, it does have dual SIM card ports in the back, so you can run two SIM cards. So if your, your work phone is Verizon and your home phone is AT&T, you can put both of those SIM cards in here. You can get work calls and home calls without having to change numbers or anything. Um, it, it's also got space for a micro SD card in here, up to 32 gigs. I put that in. It's perfect. I've got so much music on it now. It's great. Comes with two batteries. So the battery that's in here now is just one of them. They come dead, obviously. You have to charge them. Um, but when this battery no longer holds a charge at all, I can just go to my old box, pick up the, the, the other battery. It'll be brand new. Pop it in, and then that just extends the life of my phone even longer. And you can just take that old battery into some battery store and see if you can find another one. So that's pretty cool. Um, overall, seems like a really, really durable phone. I, I really, really like it, except for that headphone thing, because I listen to a lot of music. Um, we are going to be ordering, more than likely, another phone, which is really similar to this one. It's called a Hummer H1. I, I don't know why they're all labeled after cars. But we're going to be ordering that to see if that headphone jack is any, any better. And I will definitely do a review on that. I've had this phone a couple of months. A lot of my phones don't last that long. Um, so... 
definitely a good buy, especially if you don't listen to a lot of music. Very durable, very good to own. I'm really happy with it, except for that headphone thing. I really like that you can attach a lanyard to it. It's really great. So, highly recommend this phone. I'll put a link in the bottom so that you can order it from the same person I did. She doesn't always have every color in. I wanted green. I got blue. But that's okay, considering what you're getting and how cheap they are. So, good luck. Have fun.